to the non-fungible level. This is again, this lesson talks about NFTs. Again, we are the biggest proponents against NFTs, against Bitcoin, really just any new fad of an investment. Again, I have this article here a year ago, you know, Justin Bieber bought this picture of this monkey for a million dollars. This article again is a little bit older. It's, it's worth 69,000 today. It's, I think the last time I saw an article is worth a few thousand. And this is again, it's just every new year or every couple of years, there's a new fad, a new investment theme. I can go back to when I first started, it was, you know, solar stocks, automotive stocks. It was, you know, 3D printing stocks. It was, you know, certain biotech companies. So every couple of years, there's always this new investment thing that comes around. But with anything, they need time to really show their hand. You know, the stock market's been around for more than 100 years. It's, as they would say, anti-fragile to it leaving, where a year or two ago, everyone talked about NFTs. And today, you can't really find anyone talking about it. And this is one of those reasons why we don't chase the newest investment fad, no matter what it is. We've seen it before, and we focus on the things that are sustainable, and they're going to be around in the next 10 years. So this kind of goes as an example. Beanie Babies back in the early 2000s, when back then, like NFTs, people thought that Beanie Babies were going to be investment vehicles for the future. People were trying to park them in their retirement accounts. And very quickly that bubble burst. And you know, now no one would even think of a plush toy being an investment theme. And in a few years, I feel we'll have the same thought on a lot of these NFTs. But again, for us, it's just not a wheelhouse to be on the buying side of the NFTs.